I wanted to show you what I had done for my organizational plan. It's a very simple one, and yours can be whatever you want it to be. And you're not wedded to it. You can change it if you want to. But basically, I have an intro. I'm going to make one, two, three arguments. This is really important. Another name for this is naysayer. And what that means is that somebody who argues against your position. Why do you want one of these? Mainly because it's fair. And it keeps you honest yourself. And besides, you're going you're gonna to make an argument counter to their argument, right? So you have to counter what they say. And by doing that, you have to actually think pretty cool. Okay, and then the then, then there's the third thing. Now you notice I did I put this almost at the very end. Why? I think that like the like the defendant defense in a in a trial, uh, I want to ha have the last say. That's what that's the last thing I want the the jury, in other words the audience to remember. Is that the only way you, you can do it? No, no. Some people want to get their licks in first. It's up to you. And, of course, you're going to have some sort of conclusion about, about the American dream. And I'm thinking I might uh, use the, the presidential election this year and Sandy as a way uh, to make my point. Now... So this is an overall organizational plan. You need one to focus your work. And you don't have to do things, in, you know, it doesn't have to be do this, do this, do this. No, it doesn't have to be that at all. You might have, yeah, you might start with the introduction, but then you might stop in the middle of it and say, I need to work on something else. Um, and I might want to work on on the stuff that can be counted, like uh, statistics, or, uh, you know, facts about the American dream, or surveys, okay? And then I say, I don't want to do that, I don't know what to do there, and I don't know what to do there, but I do know what I want to talk about there, so I might work on that for a little bit. And the cool thing is you can work on the whole thing inside of here. And saving, is, it's really easy to do. It's so easy to do, you don't even have to do it. In fact, it's, I think that it's, it auto-saves every 15 seconds or so. If you want to save, you just click up here. And that tells you your revision history. So if you want to, you can go back to earlier times this morning. I, I could come back to earlier times this morning or yesterday and uh, look at the revision history. Well, that's it. The main thing I wanted to show you in this was how I create my organizational plan. But... You might also look at my title here. Notice I'm kind of changing things around a little bit. And I've included a, a link to uh, an article, a couple of articles that might help me. All right. Use research with Google Docs to help you write your paper. Thanks.